Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekly advice readings for the week starting December 12th, 2016. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. Thank you very much for being here. Um, and as always, please do remember that these are general readings, so they're not going to apply to everybody watching. And make sure to watch your Moon and Rising sign readings for additional messages as to what may be coming up for you in the week. Um, I also invite everyone to take part in the New Year special. It is a 20% discount reading on uh, uh, yearly forecasts and also on six month forecasts and you can find that on the specials page of my website and the link to it is in the description box below. And um, if you want to take part in the raffle, it's still running until the 15th so now would be a good time to check that out as well if you're interested. So Sagittarius, let's have a look. Definitely a time of new beginnings for you that bring release, that bring freedom and um, new paths, okay? So with your current situation or your main focus, we have the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is new situations, new opportunities that you're very passionate about, that you're very excited about, that um, are what you want to see. Uh, this is something that you create for some of you. The Ace of Wands is fire energy. Um, so it talks about our creativity, what drives us. Um, it could talk about our jobs, our careers, our creative projects. Um, the Ace of Wands is definitely an offer coming to us towards change. And it's a change that would make us happy. It's change that we're very excited about. Okay, or that we've been trying to manifest for quite some time, that we've been praying for for quite some time with the Ace of Wands. So again, it could be a new job, a new relationship, a new career, a new home even for some of you. Your main opportunity in the week is the Ten of Swords. So the Ten of Swords is your main opportunity. It is pretty much saying that you have the opportunity this week to put something to rest for good. So you have the opportunity to end a very difficult situation, a very difficult time in your life with the Ten of Swords because you have this new beginning, okay? Um, the Ten of Swords is something that has been very difficult. It's something that has been weighing us down. It's something that has been pinning us down in a, in a dark place, a negative place. Um, and so your main opportunity is to be free from that, is to see the sun rise, okay, and to have a new dawn, a new beginning. Um, and the Ten of Swords can be anything from a very difficult relationship. And now you have your independence. Uh, it could be anything from, you know, from that to ending a job or a work situation that has been really, really difficult for you. Maybe uh, struggling to find work because now you found work. Or uh, struggling at work because you don't have support or recognition. And you have this new, now you have this new opportunity that's going to take you away from this and allow you to be done with this kind of situation. Um, ending a way of working, maybe you've been working for people and now you're looking at starting your own business and being your own boss. Okay, it could be coming up, but whatever this is for you, the Ten of Swords talks about you have the opportunity to end a very difficult, long lasting situation or time of your life because you have this new beginning. Your main challenge is the Eight of Wands. So with the Eight of Wands is your main challenge. You are asked to temper yourself, not to rush, not to um, push the energy, not to be impulsive, okay, with the Eight of Wands. Um, this can be uh, when we get overly excited about something and we want to do it all at the same time, we want to uh, just get going with it. It may cause you to overlook things. It may cause you to um, pressure people and, you know, that's not going to be a good situation for you. It may cause you to crash and burn with this energy, okay? If we, if we take on more than we can handle or we, if we try to jump, jump in, um, the deep end when we're not ready, okay? So the challenge for you is just to take it slow. A natural progression is okay. This is just the beginning with the Ace of Wands, so it's okay, it's gonna take some time. You have to nurture the opportunity. You have to uh, 
um, be there, take it slow, one day at a time, one step at a time, and it will turn into success for you. You don't have to, it's almost like when we have a seed and we have to grow a flower, a beautiful flower out of it. And so we take that seed and we get overly excited with it and we drown it in waters and then it rots or something like that, okay? So it's just saying one step at a time, one day at a time. Don't get ahead of yourself. Don't rush. You may overlook things. Um, and taking it slow is fine this week, okay? And also don't be impulsive and pay attention to what you're doing and pay attention, be present um, is also something that you're asked to do. We have the High Priestess as advice for you. So again, for those of you who are starting a new job or a new career even or a new business, the High Priestess is advising you to first use your intuition, use what you know, and also do research, gather information, look for knowledge, okay, gain uh, knowledge this week, okay, this is what you do in order to properly nurture this opportunity, okay, with the High Priestess. So do some research, think things through, meditate, pray on them. Definitely check in with your intuition to see what you feel would be a good fit for you or a good pace for you, okay? And definitely get answers, information, knowledge is key for you this week, okay, is what I'm getting. So don't don't skip training, okay, is also coming up. Don't skip training, don't rush through the training. Uh, don't jump on big projects. When you're not ready don't try to impress anyone okay they're already impressed with you that's why they offered you the job or this this opportunity whatever this is they're already impressed with you so just do things properly they're going to be more than happy with you okay knowledge is key for you this week any information you can get is really going to be helping you and in the outcome position we do have the eight of swords and the eight of swords talks about Freeing yourself from a difficult situation, okay? Um, and this is the, the tarot deck that I'm using is called the After Tarot. And you may notice that it portrays uh, something similar to the Rider Waite, but slightly different, okay? In the Rider Waite, we just have this lady here, and she's all tied up and, and uh, blindfolded. And in this deck, you have someone coming in to free her from that, okay? And it talks about uh, portraying the next couple of seconds after the... Um, what the regular tarot portrays, what the traditional tarot portrays, tarot decks, okay? So this is your outcome. You've been stuck with the state of swords. You weren't able to see your way. You weren't able to see what the next step was for you. You felt like there were no options and you are coming out of that as a result of this ace of wands, okay? You have this new opportunity, again, new job, new relationship, new home, new career, new business, it can be anything. It is a very general reading, so I do ask you to take away the message and apply it to your own situation. But you have this beautiful new beginning. Nurture it properly, don't rush through it. You definitely have a sense of freedom, a sense of release and relief um, by the end of the week. Uh, you can open your eyes and see options with the knowledge you gain. It will give you a new way of seeing things with the knowledge you gain. You will have a new way forward. Um, and confidence also comes up with this energy. Um, and support systems. You could be meeting a new friend. Okay, this week, new co-worker turns into a friend. Um, or, this is if this is a new love relationship, the High Priestess talks about just lower your guard lower your guard don't block this person out if they're trying to get to know you let them and try to get to know them as well because it may very well be that this person is helping you release a difficult past and overcome trust issues or issues with self-love or self-respect okay overall it's a really beautiful energy it's a really beautiful week for uh, new beginnings for uh, release freedom independence and uh, starting a, a new path that's definitely something you're very excited about that will bring you um, success, okay? So I hope that the messages make sense and I hope that the reading helps you. Let me know, I look forward to your comments. Let me know how these cards make sense to you if they apply to you. Um, thank you again for joining me. I hope you have a really beautiful week ahead and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.